Welcome back to the Aqua Open Source YouTube channel. For those who are new here, my name is Anis Ulis. I'm the Open Source Developer Advocate here at Aqua. Now, generally, this channel is focused on our open source tools, projects, and run by the open source team at Aqua. Now, the thing is, we get a lot of questions on how the open source tools differ from the enterprise offering. What are the differences in using each tool? the features, the processes for integrating those tools into your existing workflow, and many, many more questions. The answer to those questions highly, highly depends on your setup. What kind of tools are you already using? What kind of tools are you familiar with? What are your goals? What are your problems? What's the scale of your infrastructure? What are the resources that you have available? What are the expertise skills within your team? What is the time availability? And many, many more factors. There's not one answer for everybody. However, in order to provide you with more information on how the open source tools differ from the enterprise offering, we're starting off this series where we're going to show you how you solve a specific problem, reach a particular goal, first with our open source offering and then with the enterprise tools. Let's get started. First, the series is going to start off with container security. Specifically, we're going to show you how you can scan containers for vulnerabilities. Generally, Trivi is used as a CLI tool. In future videos, we're going to show you how to use Trivi in your CICD pipeline. So you can install Trivi through the different installation options that are listed in the documentation. The link to the documentation is below in the description. Once you have Trivi installed, you can run Trivi-help to see all of the different scans that you can perform through Trivi, such as Trivi image, which scans container images for vulnerabilities. And we're going to focus on this one in this video. Now, Trivi follows a simple structure with all of its uh, scan targets and scan commands. You specify Trivi image, then the flags that you want to use. So Trivi, then what you want to scan, the flags you want to use, and then you say the resource that you want to scan. So in this case, we're going to scan a Node 14 container image from the Docker Hub. If we don't specify a container registry, Trivi is going to use by default the Docker Hub. Now, once you scan a container image for vulnerabilities, you will be provided with the different um, <laughs> vulnerabilities in a table format. So first we will see the library that has the vulnerability that is present within the container image. Then we will see the vulnerability that's linked to that library, the severity of the vulnerability, then the installed version within the container image that has the vulnerability. And then in some cases, the vulnerability already has a fix available in updated version of that library. And lastly, you can read more about it on the link provided to Aqua website with further information. Now, as you can see, this container image has lots and lots and lots of different vulnerabilities. There are lots of medium, high, low, critical vulnerabilities and more. Now, <laughs> this container image is taken from the Docker Hub. Even if a container image has lots and lots of downloads, it doesn't mean that it doesn't have any vulnerabilities available. Also, one of the most recent versions, Node 18, has already vulnerabilities listed within. Now, alternatively to scanning container images as default from Docker Hub, such as the container images that you might use in as a base image in your Docker file, you can also scan your own applications, such as in this case, I'm going to scan an application from my own Docker Hub site um, for vulnerabilities. Now, as you can see in my own website, in my own application, there is no vulnerability just found yet. Now, alternatively, in addition to your scans, you can also filter for the severity and for other um, properties of the vulnerability. Such in this case, we're going to scan for high and critical vulnerabilities that are present in our Node 18 image. As you can see, there are still several, several critical and high vulnerabilities present. Now, in addition to that, we're going to now filter for ignore unfixed. This is another popular flag through the Trivi CLI. And it basically specifies that we only want to see vulnerabilities that already have a fix available. Now, as you can see, Node 18 only has vulnerabilities that are not yet fixed, meaning we cannot update the container image with uh, fixed versions because they are not yet fixes available for, this, for these vulnerabilities in the container image. Now, lastly, we can also specify the format in which we want to receive the vulnerability list, such as the JSON format. And we can specify the output file 
in which we want to store the scan result, such as in our result.json file. And then once we have that, with a simple cat command, we can view the output of our scan from the result.json file. Now, we hope this episode was useful. If you have any thoughts, comments, questions, please leave a comment in below or join us in the Aqua Open Source Slack channel, also linked below in the description. Now, if you would like to see particular features in one of the future videos, please also do let us know in the comments. We would love to hear from you. Please give this video a like, thumbs up and subscribe to our Open Source YouTube channel for future videos. We would love to see you there. Have an amazing day. Bye bye.